Hi everybody, um, this is Jean, um, episode 58, I'm bringing you my little show today from my dining room. <laughs> and um, I, I don't think you folks will even look at my quilt because I know I have a lot of stuff. But the reason I was bringing it in here is because, um, not necessarily a tutorial, but actually a little bit, um, I'm showing you how I... I uh, pre-constructed this quilt block. Let me just explain. Um, I'm bringing it to you here because it's a little bit softer. My dining room is like pale blue and pinks and all. And um, this is my quilt that I've made. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. It's very, very pale. My other room is a little bit brighter. Um, I don't know if you can see. Most probably, if you've been following me, you'll notice what this is. I'm done it to death. It's my 10 minute quilt block. Remember three awesome seams. Seams. But you're saying there's tons of seams. They're like, what in the world? What happened is I had a jelly roll. Um, one. I had one jelly roll that I had gotten. And to be honest, I've never really um, worked with uh, jelly rolls. I have. I've, I've gotten jelly rolls and I've sewn them together and made what's called a jelly roll race quilt. It was nice, all bright solids, actually. It turned out real nice. Um, can I say I don't love jelly rolls? I love them when they're packaged. I love them. I love the thought of them. But two and a half inch strips, I was, I was looking, I'm thinking, on YouTube, and there's millions of quilts, books, patterns. I have them. Like, what you can do with jelly roll strips. I prefer larger pre-cuts or yardage. Having said that, I bought this real pretty jelly roll, and this is a quilt I made with one jelly roll. Um, oh, I actually have a, a, it's, it's a, let me just explain, it's nine blocks in this quilt. They're 18 inch blocks, okay? And if you can see these nine diagonals in this quilt, that's the middle of the block, and it's constructed as my uh, 10 minute three seam quilt block. However, if you refer back to that video with, with the um, extensive uh, detailed instruction how to construct it with three seams, three seam, <laughs> three seams, um, I, only use, I only use 10 inch or 10 or 8 inch squares. This, what I did here is I actually, this is an eight and a half inch square. The block calls for five same size squares. Um, I actually constructed my eight and a half inch square with jelly rolls. I, I, I uh, chain pieced my jelly rolls together. Uh, the, the tutorial that follows this little introduction shows you exactly how I did that. So as to get this scrappy, real pretty, uh, soft quilt soft looking quilt. One jelly roll. My one jelly roll made 10 18 inch squares in this configuration, in this pattern. Having said that, I explain what else is needed. You just need a few little tiny extra bits of fabric to create this. What I did with this quilt is if you can see, um, again, refer back to episode 6 and then episode 11. I actually... Uh, explained that in my couple videos ago. Um, I'm not rehashing. I hope you don't think so. My my this quilt block, but um, it, it works up really quickly, and there's lots of tips that I give to really perfect it. This one, I actually, if you can see this this solid piece, how you'll see how it's constructed in episode six. I actually, it sort of almost looks proud of the fabric. These nine bits because I didn't quilt that. I didn't, I, I quilted sort of underneath. Again, I'll be showing you what I've done. Um, the quilting on this, I, I just did a, a very soft, uh, sort of like a, a pale red and white background. I bound it in a very, 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 very pale pink. Um, it's either a, a large baby quilt or a, um, or, you know, or like a little lap quilt for like a, a cottage chic look, like in my, my room. Um, that's why I bought it in my room, because my room's more of the softer tones. Um, so that's my sort of tutorial. I'll show you how I opened up my jelly roll and how I actually 
um, constructed this, the blocks. And then I do tell you, go back and refer to episode 6 to see how the actual 18 inch block is created. It's so easy. It's, it's not even funny. But I thought I wanted to change it up and show you a real scrappy jelly roll method. Um, so if you have a jelly roll hanging around, it doesn't make a large quilt. This is about 48, uh, no, maybe 50 inch square. So it, 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 it's, a, it's a nice size quilt. Um, like I said, for a lap quilt or for a, a nice baby quilt, um, but, or, or if you have like a whatever colorway jelly roll, um, it's a good way to use up a jelly roll um, without it looking like strips sewn together. I know there's a million ways you can use jelly rolls. I have books, but I'm not, I don't gravitate towards jelly rolls, but this was so pretty, this, 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 uh, this colorway. I just thought it was so pretty. So anyway, um, that's what I've done with my 10-minute quilt block. Um, is, again, refer back to episode 6 to see how the actual block is constructed but once you get it you'll understand this quilt and I'm not bragging took me a day and a half to make because the the blocks and I know there's quite a lot of people who are are um, loving this 10 minute quilt block if it takes 10 minutes and you've done nine of them that's like an hour and a half literally after you you know if, if you use 10 inch squares and I know people are saying oh my word this is my go-to pattern but I changed it up a bit and I wanted to make it look a little bit more scrappy and a little bit more interesting with this shabby chic fabric. So I hope you enjoy this. Oh, by the way, um, I'm going to be, uh, in, I don't know if any of you know, my, I have, a, I have a, a store on Etsy where I sell my quilts, some of them. And um, it's called True Love Quilts for You. And we came upon that name because that's what I do. <laughs> One of my kids said, well, what are you going to, this is years ago, what are you going to name your shop, mom? And it was like, like, true love quilt, like, you know, love quilt, whatever, whatever. Because my last name is True Love. And um, one of my boys, I think one of my younger boys were like, well, what do you do there? I'm like, well, I quilt for you. And he's like, oh, my word, True Love Quilt's for you. So original. So that's how I came up with my name. But that's what's going to be my I'm not going to change my channel because I don't think I can on YouTube. I don't know how to do that. I'm Jean True Love, but I'm going to be introducing my videos with episode something, episode whatever. Of, this is Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for you. So, um, I want to... <laughs> Who cares, right? It's me quilting in my house, showing you bits. I hope you like this quilt. I hope you like the little tutorial that follows. Um, I show you how I constructed it. And a little bit, oh, I, I quilted this with a, um, with flowers, all over flower, free motion quilting. It's real cute, all over flowers, you know, it, it's to soften it up. I haven't washed it yet. One of my videos, I show you how I pre-wash. I haven't washed this yet, but when I do, it gets all crinkly and, crinkly? Crinkly or crunchy? No, not crunchy. Crinkly and soft. Um, so, yeah, so that's my little tutorial video for today. So thank you for tuning in folks. Bye. I've I've made this quilt using this jelly roll. Oh, look at that. It's called Heather by Jennifer Bosworth and it's from Maywood Studios. Um, I don't want to open it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, it's so cool. It's 42 and a half inch strips. Oh, I have to open it. So let me carefully open this beautiful package. Look at that. Don't you just, oh, don't, don't manufacturers know that they get you with that. Look at that. It's a visual treat. So I'm going to undo it. And it's all beautiful. It's shabby chic in shades of pinks and blues and greens and, and tans and creams. So look at that. Oh! So I'm just going to undo that there. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, sewing strips together but in a jelly roll you'll see that there are they're not they're not 
uh, colors, but they're they um they're not really light, especially this one, not really light and dark, but this will be like a medium, actually that's a little bit dark, yeah, that's a little bit dark. There'll be medium tones, so what in general that I want to be doing is I want to sort of a, so I get a really, really good random all over, all over um, pattern, like these are all whites. I want to, um, I want to grab um, from all my different piles and I'm just going to start sewing strips together and then if I sew four two and a half inch strips together <coughs> I believe that makes like an eight uh, uh, two and a half it might make like an eight or eight and a half inch block and then I have to subcut them into blocks as it were um, but I'm gonna be sh I'm gonna be showing you how I um, I'm just gonna start grabbing and start sewing my strip sets together um, I'll be I'll be you know cutting them I'll be I'll be um actually what I'm gonna do when I'm actually looking at this I have 218 I'm gonna cut these in half and just working with the 21 uh, the, the uh, the 20 inch strips because um, it'll be easier for me to get an all over an all over pattern as I start just grabbing them so I'm going to go over to my machine and show you what I'm going to do I've cut my strips uh, my 40 inch strips into into two so I like to work with more manageable half uh, half strips 20 inches or so sometimes when you work with 40 inch jelly roll strips you can if you're if you're not very careful they can start going a bit wobbly they can start turning to one side even if you go down one side and back the other so if it's not if it's if it's a block that's going to be sub cut anyway which these are um, I prefer to cut them in half and make them a little bit more manageable now as you can see what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to start chain piecing with the right sides together two pieces at a time this is what I'm doing now I'm just literally grabbing from my pile that I have here and I'm using my quarter inch foot now what I'll do is I'll just chain piece all of this lot all of these stitch uh, these strips together two of them and then I'll go back and I'll just chain piece two unit to two unit so I come up with a four strip unit and then I'll subcut them into eight inches uh, but I'll be showing you um, how I'm going to be doing that so I'm just again my quarter inch foot right along there and again my pink my pink to edge as they come out of from the manufacturer is on the outside of my quarter inch foot and I'll just start I'll just start chaining these all together so this will take a little while. I'll just grab. Uh, maybe I'll grab a green. Try to get. Try. They they come off in um like family colorways. So you just sort of want to change it up. Um. So like. Um. Like this. This little. This little dot here. Um. It. It's. They're all going to match beautifully because they're obviously from the same manufacturer. And again, the fabric's doing all of the work for us. So I'm just going to continue chain piecing all of my 20 inch strips. I've sewn all my, my two pieces of uh, strips together. And so now I'm just going to be cutting apart the chains. And then I'll be attaching two units to two. Um, and just do the same thing. Just uh, just chain stitch the, the so we have so we have four units together, and then I'll be subcutting them. So I'll, I'll just gonna finish chain stitching these, and then start and then start cutting uh, start stitching the the um, sets of two together. I'm chain stitching the uh, strips of two to the strips of two right now. Um, and as you know, I'm, I'm 
iron crazy, but I didn't I didn't take this over to my ironing board. Um, I will I will take the unit over this 20 inch strip over to my ironing board and set my seams. But right now um, I've just grabbed again from my pile that I've already stitched my two to my two, and I'm just going to be chain piecing these right along. Um, again, I I find even. Um, ironing or pressing the 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 uh, 20 inch strips is a lot easier than trying to manage and press the um, 40 inch strips. So I'll just continue chaining these along um, until I have there's my my lots of four and because I'm doing it so because I'm doing it 20 inch strips I have a lot of random strip sets so my quilt will end up really scrappy which is how I want it to look this shabby chic scrappy look so I'll just finish up here I've sewn my my uh, strip sets together in the uh, units of two um, to make a strip set of four and what I'm what, what I do is I'm just going to set these seams I just sprinkle it with a little bit of water and I just set this one seam here. This is how I do it. And that seam up there. And then I'll come back and do the middle seam. And then what I do is I'll just, from the bottom down, I'll just sort of roll it, roll that seam up as I'm going up. I'm keeping my, oops, oh, look at that. My, my iron caught in it. Keeping that seam, keeping this um, strip set nice and straight. Look at that. It's caught. It wrinkled it. That's okay. So, whoops. Oh, mate. Careful. Um, yeah, so I just roll these. I just roll this seam up. I like to press from the front so you don't get any of these nasty tucks. So just take it steady, making sure you just try to keep that, those, that strip set nice and straight. As I said, I, I quite like working with a half a jelly roll because the 40 inch strips can, I, I've, I have done it, um, but you have to make sure you just keep your strip sets nice and straight in order to, to sew your nice, uh, in order to cut your nice straight block. So there, if you can see, is my, my, my sets. So again, I'll just come along one after another and I will just, I'll just set these seams. Now, as you know, the whole point of making this 10 minute uh, block, uh, this is a little bit more because you're, we're constructing the um, strip sets to make a real scrappy 10 minute block with the, um, the, the little tri the little square inside, is um, to have five of the same exact size uh, square. So in this instance, when we sew our um, two and a half inch strips together, it ends up exactly eight and a half inches. It's eight, this is an eight and a half inch square ruler. So what I'm going to do, I will waste a little bit of on the edge, but I'm not bothered about that. It's, I, I'm not bothered about that. I can get, I can get four eight and a half inch squares out of four uh, out of one strip set of four for jelly rolls. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to um, put, I'm going to line up my, I'm going to line up my, uh, my ruler here and uh, my, I know that this is, I know this is square because the, um, you know, that, that's a square. So there you go. I have a beautiful I, I just put that on the edge there. I have a beautiful square block. And there you go. So I will just keep going along. Uh, as you see, I've, I've, I've ironed my strip sets really nice. Um, they are, there's no rhyme or reason how I do this. I just take this rubbish off here. They're uh, nice and I, I, I sort of do it all over the place. They're nice and straight. So I will just continue. I will just continue cutting my, my, um, 
eight and a half inch squares. And then I'll show you um, what I'm going to do with my center square. This is my, uh, the famous three seamed block. Um, so I'll be showing you how I'm going to put this block together. And it's going to make a large block. It's basically, this is, this is basically the look that we're going to have. Well, with different fabrics, obviously. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing them random and you, you'll have seen it, but, um, this is the construction. So one huge block this makes up, but I'll, I'm going to finish cutting all my strips. It's a very easy, actually fairly quick quilt that makes up beautifully quick. Um, I was debating whether I was going to show you how to actually um, construct the, blo the, the, the block um, that's outlined in detail in my episode 6, this block here. Um, I may or may not, I might throw it up and just do a real, real quick how I do it, but you can follow the precise instructions on episode 6. However, one thing I would like to show you um, I messed up, <laughs> me and my mess ups. Um, I'm, I started making these blocks and you're thinking, oh, I just want one going vertical, one going horizontal, right? So, so I may, I'm, I'm making these blocks, I'm making these blocks and I made a block and I'm thinking, oh, I, I made it, I made it horizontal and I made it vertical, I made it vertical and horizontal. But to actually get the look that I want, which is every every block is is has a a horizontal a vertical a horizontal vertical they all have to be constructed exactly the same look what i did i just was clever thinking i'm clever and i'm just pulling um from my piles i have tons of piles i have tons of my eight and a half inch squares i'm pulling and i just thought oh i'll mix it up and i'll do a uh, i'll do a, a a vertical and a horizontal you can't do that with this jelly roll strip method of constructing this block you have to have the exact same block construction so be very careful because this block now i can't use i've you i've i've not wasted i'll probably make a pretty pillow out of it but um, yeah, I, I can't use this in my quilt. However, if you like, because I like the randomness, um, I like the sideways, the vertical. If you like the, uh, uh, this look, do you under, do you see this? All of these, on this unit here, all of them are going horizontal. Oh no, I'm sorry, vertical. And then all of these are going horizontal. If you like that look, that's that's okay but that means you have to you have to nest these seams all together just one two three four seams on this when you're putting it together which is which is fine because you've cut them nicely they they match but i i, I just think why why do all of that and just have these I, I don't know if you like that look it's great i personally like this you can just whack them all together um if you're going to <coughs> Oh, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're not going to be using sashing, which I could, I could use sashing, but I quite like, I've made these blocks here, I quite like just this all over, old fashioned, you know, look. So again, be very careful. Here I am going to construct my next block. Do these blocks one at a time. You're going to want to, um, f f you know, fiddle around with your fabric selection um, and you're going to want to make sure, as you take it over to your machine, that you've actually come back down and, and, and have the blocks where you want. And then you can, and then you can construct your, your middle uh, unit here, which again, I've, I've shown you on, <clears throat> on, um, on um, my episode six. Um, I've decided I'm not going to show you how I construct this block. Again, you can you can um, reference episode six to show how I've constructed the block. However, I just wanted to show you for sake of this quilt um, what I have had to do because you might be a bit confused. We're working with one jelly roll, correct? I opened up a jelly roll and I'm making these blocks. Now, um, 
Oh, a side note, I don't know how many blocks I'll be able to construct. Well, I could do it if I figured out the math. But as I go along, I'm just using one jelly roll. So however many blocks that will make up minus my block that I messed up. I mean, I have, look, I have this block that I messed up. So I don't know whether it's going to be three by three or th if I can get three by four. I will have shown you that, um, that, that configuration. Anyway, um, the size it ends up is the size it ends up. But however, we are having, if, when you go to see the, the episode six, to make this block, you need another, you need an eight inch piece of fabric. Okay. Now you could, <laughs> you could for all intents and purposes have this block unit. And as you, as you'll be able to see when you, to, to do the block, you could do it to make this, um, if you're new to this, it makes no sense, but to make this curved frame, you could, you could use an eight and a half inch piece of fabric and, and do this with it and have, this is your bridging piece. Again, refer to the construction. It looks crazy. So that would be like the scrappy. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to waste one of my blocks. So what I have done is I have pulled from my stash. I have another, um, I have 10 inch squares from another manufacturer. These are, uh, this is a Moda layer cake called Guernsey. And it, look, it's almost the exact same look of, um, of this of this um, manufacturer, designer. It's almost the exact same. It's shabby chic, right? So what I want to do is I want, you can do it from any, you could use just white or whatever, whatever colorway. You could just take a ten, an eight and a half inch square or 10 inch square, just make sure they're all the exact same size. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually from this, I only need a couple of them. I only need a few, but what, what will it be? Nine at the most 12 pieces of 10 inch, Eight, eight and a half inch squares. I have to take a 10 inch square and cut it down. So what I'm going to do is I quite like the green. Um, I quite like the green of this one. So what I'm going to do with my 10 inch square to get my eight, to get my one, my five pieces exactly, I'm just going to cut my 10 inch square into my eight and a half inch square. And there you go. So then when I go to construct the, the block, I'll have this as my frame. I will then use, again, I had bought um, a charm pack to match this, this one, this does match, this is the Maywood Studios um, Heather collection. I had bought this charm pack also, um, and so I'll just, I'll just whip out, I'll just whip out a charm, a charm square and stick it in the middle. Oh, for this one, for the green, say, I don't know. Um, and, and that just fits, that'll just fit right in that frame really nicely, sort of like magic. <laughs> so, but you don't, again, you don't need to buy these things. You can just have um, a, an eight and a half inch framing piece and then whatever, whatever, whatever your colorways are. But I just wanted to clear that up. If you're doing this jelly roll method, you will need a few pieces of yardage or some smaller pieces to actually make up this center. You can't really do it with just a jelly roll. You're going to need some, you're going to need um, a solid, uh, you know, square. Um, well, um, I have your answer for you if you are wondering. Um, one jelly roll makes th uh, nine of these blocks. Now, um, these blocks are, uh, these blocks are 18 inches big, 18 inches. Now I've already, so, so one jelly roll makes, actually makes 10. Look at that because I messed up one. So I wouldn't be able to use it anyway, so I don't feel bad. I'll just make a little pillow. What I'm going to be doing with this, um, it's just a very quick quilt. And I just wanted to show you. It looks so complicated, right? I've sewn three blocks together. And all you have to really wonder, I mean, all you have to really um, worry about really is one intersection right there. That's it. And you have all of these seams 
and yet, and it looks so interesting, and it looks complicated, and it's not. But the jelly roll just makes it so, so interesting, um, fabulous, with all of the, I mean, if you did it in rainbow tones, um, or more graphic tones. So again, all my blocks are the, 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 um, the same exact configuration, and then I'll just have to worry, when I go to put it together, all I'm going to have to worry about is nesting that middle seam. You don't have to worry about these seams. You don't have to worry about this here. Everything matches up perfectly. So it's literally just that seam that I'm being that I'm worrying about right there, which is nested together. And so I'm going to literally sew my three blocks across and then add my rows on. And I don't even think I'm going to um I don't even think I'm going to border this. I think I'm just going to I think I'm just going to bind it with a real pretty back and it really is just literally um over a rocking chair in a, in a like maybe a shabby chic look uh room or in your bedroom over the foot of the bed. It's just a very small throw or a, even a lap quilt. Again, um one jelly roll, nine pieces of nine pieces of uh, the same exact size, eight and a half inch square for the frame here, and then nine five inch squares. That's all you need to make this small quilt. So um, it'll, well, how, I don't know what it measures, 18, 18, 18, 18 and 18 uh, square. Again, just a small, um, a small uh, throw quilt. So I'll just, I'll just mess around with these colorways here to how I'm going to put my blocks together. Um, and then my block, my, my little pillow, my little quilt is done with a bonus pillow. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I couldn't have used that square anyway. Um, so one jelly roll and there you have it folks. A lovely little quilt. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to show you how I'm going to be quilting my little quilt, um, having pieced it together. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is, again, since this is a, a, all very angular, I thought I wanted to uh, pretty it up and soften it up. And what I'm doing, I'm just quilting large flowers, like a daisy type of stitch all over it, just connecting, um, uh, j just making a, my version of a, of a flower and then just coming a... a, a, a trailing stitch to the next bit and then maybe on this one I'll do a bigger one. So uh, this method covers mo a, a lot of my quilt like there's an area I have to do here because I sort of I sort of missed that or I have to go back and do that. I've done these over here and I did this. Um, so I do have to sort of stop and start like here's a here's a big flower here. So all I'll do is again um, it's my my version of a just a, a meandering flower, uh, my free motion quilting, you know, my machine has been set for free motion quilting. So what I do when I'm doing this type of thing, I'll try to keep my hands out of the way. Um, it's just I do, I do my circle around, I secure my threads, and then I just do my circle around, and then I'll come back and, and then I just do a, a petal, a circular petal, and then I'll just do the the uh, the petals. I will cut these off here. My stitches here. I don't know if you can see it. And I'll come around, and then I'll just come over here, do a little bit of a circle. There's my middle, and then my petals around. Some petals have four, some petals have five, some petals have six. And now I want to make this a little bit bigger, so I'll come just in the middle of that, just around. Just sort of make it a double flower there, just in the in middle of each one. 
And again, just come around, make a circle. So I've just done that over um, the entire quilt. And as I said, it's, it's, a, it's either a baby quilt or just a shabby, chic, soft, soft quilt. So I just thought, you know, you have to think about your quilting when you're actually um, embarking on making a quilt. Um, how, you know, what you want the look to be. So I just thought this was obviously more feminine quilt. So I just thought, well, flowers. And it's my version of whatever flower. <laughs> Sometimes I go right back on that sort of stem. And I quite like that. And again, you see, I'll just shift my quilt. Again, as you know, free motion quilting you're painting. So I'm painting. <laughs> I'm painting flowers. So yeah, so there's my flowers. Um, and as you can see, I shift it. It really does make up very quickly. Uh, I just wanted to show you, oh, this. Um, I, I, we can see it here. I actually um, stitched this, this uh, here and what I'm what I've done is I've stitched a flower hopefully we can see that I've stitched a flower in this here but I'm gonna go back I've already done one where is it um, here we go let me just see if I can show you this oh excuse me um, what I've done is I've actually stitched I caught that a little bit I haven't stitched this down that caught a little bit but that's fine um, I'm just gonna stitch around so this is almost all sort of free I quite like that, but it's stitched around the um, this frame here. I like that. It's textural. Again, it reminds me of my um, my quilt that I did, my five-minute quilt block. I quite like that. I caught it. Oh, it's fine. Um, yeah. So I'll just finish up. I'll just finish up. Um, I'll, I'll do that in this one. I'll just stitch right around here, um, right right along there and along there without catching this. And that's just my. That's my thing today. As you can see, my, my, my flowers are just, just meandering all over the place. And, and actually with this, look, you know me, make it consistent, make it consistent. It, it may, it, on this quilt, it may not be. I have not, as my other quilts, I have not secured between my rows. I have not. I have just come along, pin basted it, and started making my flowers. So it's loose and it's, it's scrunchy. I have not pre-washed my fabric and I have, as, a, as shown on um, my last video, um, episode 57, I have not pre-washed this because I really do want this to, to shrink up really nice because it's an old fashioned uh, looking quilt. I want it to look like it will have been around for a long time. So again, I'll just bring my, my stitching over to here and I'll just do my I'll just do my uh, this is a small petal this is a small one bring it over here no rhyme or reason to sometimes bigger or smaller this is slightly medium size or small yeah so there's my there's my pretty flowers that I've done over the entire quilt.